You know how hard it is to get kids to eat their greens? Oh, yes. Well, get ready to meet one woman who's never grown out of it. She's eaten only three things her whole life. Not a single fruit or green vegetable on the list. ABC's Lindsay Davis has her unusual story. What's this stuff? Some cereal. These guys never thought they'd get finicky Mikey to like life cereal. He likes it. And children are known for their extremely picky eating habits. But you've never met a picky eater quite like Marla. Okay, any hummus? No. There's not a single thing in this aisle you would eat. No. Nope. You would do like banana bread, maybe? No. No, 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 no. At 54 years old, Marla Lopez still eats like a toddler. She has never eaten a piece of fruit or even tried a green vegetable. For as long as she can remember, her daily diet has consisted of three things. Milk, including ice cream, white bread, like crackers and tortillas, and potatoes, chips or fries. Oh, and sometimes bacon. But why? What is it? You don't like the taste? It's generally a texture issue, a kind of food sensitivity. Marla says her picky eating started as an infant when she would literally gag on baby food. We went shopping with her at Fairway Market in New York City and almost nothing made it into the cart. Nothing about this that looks appetizing. No. I, I just as soon eat this as I would eat your shoe. You seriously? Seriously. Even things she likes she's picky about. You eat these crackers? Not the whole grain. The yeah. snack aisle. This is it. This that is really it. is how you eat. Well, well, yeah, it's not the snack food, aisle, yeah. it's the dinner aisle. Her all time pan, favorite? Okay. Potato chips. Salty and fresh and potato y. You'd get bored of eating the same food you would every day. Think, although it's limited, I absolutely enjoy it and love what I do eat. People are going to see what's in your car. They're going to hear you say what it is that you will eat right. and think, this lady just wants to eat junk food. Right. That's all that this right. is. This right. is not a disorder. Right. She just wants to eat junk food. I've heard that all my life. All my life. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Dr. Nancy Zucker, who studies adult picky eaters at Duke University and is consulting with Marla, says she's not alone. We don't quite understand what adult picky eating is. However, what we do know is that we think it is real and that is a biologically influenced condition. No one thinks that these individuals are faking it. Oftentimes at parties, she feels she needs to hide her eating habits. She'll say she's already eaten or just carry around a drink. But despite Marla's heavy carb and vegetable free diet, she actually says she's healthy. My Your cholesterol, cholesterol 174. And I eat a bag of fries every single day and it's my main staple. Let's get more on this from Dr. Jennifer Ashton, ABC's new senior medical contributor. Congratulations. Thank you, George. So, so cholesterol, 174. She looks okay, but this can't be healthy. Look, there's a lot more to good health than just a number, just like there's a lot more to being unhealthy than your diet. Ideally, you eat a variety of good foods, raw um, vegetables, fruits, lean protein, the healthy fats. Can you get some vitamins from these fortified foods? Yeah, but it's not ideal. And by the way, she's not the only one who eats like I'm this, I'm sure that's obviously. right. And as Dr. Zucker pointed out, though, she doesn't necessarily have control over this. A hundred percent. This is a real entity. In fact, the American Psychiatric Association is actually considering adding this to their formal list of disorders. Think of this like claustrophobia, fear of tight spaces, only for food. It's very real. Wow.